Modern Nomads is a weekly program about Kazakh compatriots who try to save Kazakh traditions for the current and next generations. And for those who are interested in the culture and history of ancient Kazakh nomads, watch us every week on Kazakh TV. Horses forage around a small settlement in the mountains. Their backs, aligned with the mountain edges, seem to emphasize the beauty of the latter. The eye candy of the herd walks a black mare, weary of her cult. Peacefully, the herd does munch on the fresh mat of grass. The mountains and the horses are a duo made in heaven, the crucial sign of the preserved traditions. Horses are one strong bond that the Kazakhs have to their culture. Alende bizden Kazak kalkının salt destrindeği cilkının ara alatın orunu yirikçi. Bol cilkına ja tayinan tap tap. Horses have always taken a special place in Kazakh culture. One grows up with a horse and takes it from being a toy to being a racer. When your horse turns five, you take it to Kokpar. All of the horse-related games are divided into two kinds. The first one challenges the horse, and the second kind, both the horse and the rider are challenged to show strength and perseverance. Let me tell you about Kizku first. Any auspicious event starts with Kizku. A girl on a horse is chased by a group of young men, and if caught, lets the man who caught her kiss her. However, if she escapes, she gets to chase the men and whips whoever she can reach first. It is a wonderful game. No surprise, people love to begin with it. Today we are going to talk about an ancient custom of gifting a yearling. Gifted by a grandfather or a father to his son, this special yearling give the name to the custom, Basere. Considered the highest sign of respect to the future warrior, the Basare can also be presented by the maternal relatives and extended family. Bizden Kazak saltında ciyendirge, öz nemirelerine, öz tuğustlarına, baldarga, besire biri bozunda. Gifting a horse to the younger people has been a custom for a long time. Only the strongest, healthiest yearlings are picked as a basire. Today you will see a basire being passed on to the great grandson of mine. With the optation of his herd to increase and multiply, I picked a young mare that will hopefully bring more cults to his rag. The Basare gifting doesn't require a horse to be young. What really matters is the sincere intention of giving. Strictly speaking, the Basare is the first animal in a young man's complete ownership, his personal means of transportation, and his companion. Having multiple horses was a must in the yester age. Our batiers and heroes needed at least a couple of stallions and a herd of mares to fight and protect our land. Among them, they had ones that used to be in battle, 
and those for funerals or those for weddings and other mundane tasks. Having a basare, drinking fresh and fermented horse milk, since childhood, the Kazakh nation has become what it is today. Would it be possible for us to protect such a vast land without a horse? Our ancestors used horses to defend the homeland and to pass it on to us. Just like they passed on the custom of the Basire, we are able to herd cattle, grow sheep, and ride a horse today, thanks to them. There exists a custom of picking the right basere. The selection begins from the best mare's produce. The healthiest cult is then captured by the cowboys and they use nooses. A noose is thrown in an old art in nomadic cultures. Only a noose can stop an untamed yearling. Before being gifted, a basire gets his tail and mane cut. A thick neck under the mane shows a high quality horse. A horse can then become a reliable carrier. This yearling will be one. Taking good care of the colt's mane and tail is part of the horse herding tradition. Only a few strands of hair to whisk the flies away are left. Unlike colts, the two-year-old mare's mane and tail are braided to look like a pine tree. This year it will join the herd. The cut horse hair and the sheep wool is mixed and used to make a noose. The mane and tail hair make it unterrible. After the horse hairs are twisted, the sheep's wool is added to give the lasso its nice finish. Later, it will be used to make the lead rope to trail the halter. Cutting the hair only makes it thicker. That's why trimming the manes and tail is important. Helping a horse grow a thick mane is a custom and a wise one at that. Gifting a basare to its owner is a very special moment. The kids are overcome with joy. The grandparents bless him and the cult. For the first time in their lives, the image of the kid holding his cult alone is so pleasant. The cult is still unbroken, but it is not afraid of the boy. They feel each other, they understand each other without words, and communicate silently. Gauhar Beck's grandson got used to his baisare very fast. The moment when the boy and his baisare accept one another is a moment of unimaginable things by a painter. Dear children, may you live a long and happy life. May you always have a loyal horse under you. Be a part of the eternal nation and be an eager defender of your homeland. My grandchildren, grow and prosper and enjoy yourself and your big family in the times of peace. Let the sky always be clear and the sun shine bright. Be the mighty eternal nation. Amen. Every cult has to be trained from birth. It will become a true friend to the human. Horses don't speak, but if they could, you'd know everything. A human can only show his respect to a horse through thorough care, and he earns a lifelong loyalty and friendship. Teaching a horse how to walk back home, 
The Kazakhs call this process familiarizing the horse with the land. The more a horse is used to traversing the land, the faster it learns where to come back to and to bring the wounded rider back, despite the part of the day or the distance. To have a good horse, one ought to invest in it. A horseman took one of the colts out to a lake and the skirt of the mountain. It is time to break the back. The untamed colt is weary and doesn't allow anybody to approach it. The horseman, however, climbs onto the colt. The trainer's assistants lead the colt to another horse. The struggle between the unbroken colt and the rider continues into the evening, but the former gets used to having the halter. From now on, the Baisere's new owner ought to take care of it. The colt has to perform at the Alaman race, which is the longest race. Horse races for different ages are held separately. The first, second, and third, as well as the fourth year horses, run different distances. The games that involve the rider's strength and nimbleness are Aldaris Pak, also the Tenge Ilu. But the main attraction has always been Kokpar the classic Kokpar in particular. In the southern regions of Kislorda, Jambul, Shimkent, Narenkol, and Kigin, they enjoy and play it the most. Unlike them, people in and around Almaty and Kordai pay more attention to races. <laughs> Presenting a baisere may be one of the stealth ways of turning the boys of the steppe to the horse riders as soon as possible. The nomad sport lifestyle happens atop of a horse. Reviving the tradition today is a way of preserving it. Preparing a boy and his cult for races and competitions start as early as during the first years of their lives. There even exists in Kokpar for the youngest participants and it is only a small part of a bigger custom to ride a horse. The cutest and the most interesting part is to watch the youngest riders on their small baisereis. In the adult races, everything happens because of a big prize that has been announced. Some people can win a car, some win money, and others make the competition much harder and more brutal. Compared to them, kids who ride their cults for fun, this is a heartwarming thing to watch. More often than not, elders can predict the cult's future from that very first race. This one is going to be a star. This one is not bad at all allowing us to invest in the great ones. The nation of the Great Steppe is the embodiment of the culture of Kazakhstan, living its customs and its essence for thousands of years. A new every time, just like the customs of the Baisere, they will never get old. The Kazakhs and their horses are a pair made in heaven and manifesting through the Baisereis. Long live the customs of the eternal nation. My grandson now has a horse of his own. My job is to teach him how to care for it. If God permits, he will become a great racer, 
I hope that among my other yearlings, the future champions will emerge soon as well. I only need to take care and look after them closely.